Hi YouTube! Uh, today I'm doing the booktube newbie tag video. Um, a few of the new booktubers have suggested I do this so I'm going to give it a try. Um, you can get to know a bit more about me and I'd love to know a bit more about you if you want to post your answers to these questions in the comments um, or suggest any books for me to read in future videos. I'd love to hear from you. I've got my list of questions down here because there's a lot um, and I won't remember them all. So let's get going. The first question is, where are you from? I am originally from England. I've lived in America for the past almost five years in Florida, in the Panhandle. Uh, in a few weeks though, we're going to be moving all the way across the country to the other side of America. Uh, so that's very exciting. Question two is, how old are you? I am 34. I don't really know how to expand on the answer, but there you go, 34. Question number three is a big question. It is, why did I join Booktube? Well, I actually only found out about Booktube last year, so I haven't really been aware of it for very long. But as soon as I found out about it, I loved it straight away. I love the community, I love the Booktube videos that I was seeing on there, and the interaction between the Booktubers and their communities. Uh, and I wanted to be more part of it, so I thought making my own videos would be a way to do that, to interact more with the community as a whole, um, and to get to know like-minded people who love books as much as I do, and to talk about more books and discover more books as well. Question number four is, what is the meaning of my channel name? Well, my channel name is my name, so that's rather self-centred, I guess, but it, it's my name. I thought it would be easy name to pick. Um, some of you may have noticed though that my original channel name, before YouTube let me create a channel name with a URL, uh, was something different, which was based on a username that I used to have on the internet a long time ago, uh, and that's what I originally signed up for YouTube with, and then recently when Google Plus came in they let me change the name to be my name, uh, and that's where it is now. Question 5. What type of books do I read? Well, I read a lot of books, mostly urban fantasy, though I do like some dark fantasy, horror, uh, general fantasy and high fantasy as well. I also read some sci-fi and some general fiction, uh, and recently I've been getting into reading more non-fiction books. But as a whole, I prefer urban fantasy, something that I can really escape into, something completely different from what I'm used to in the world, um, although I enjoy the books as well. Number six. Who is your favourite author? My favourite author is Ilona Andrews. I absolutely love her work. Uh, not everybody realises that she actually writes her books with her husband, Gordon, and they both write together under her name. Um, I love the Kate Daniels series. I love the Edge series. There's another series of hers that I can't remember the name at the moment that I haven't read yet that I really want to. She's also started a series called the Innkeeper series, I think it is, with Clean Sweep was the first one, which was really good. All of her books are just amazing, they're very immersive, the world building is fantastic and the character development is really, really good. Um, so yeah, she is my favourite author. Question 7, what was the last book that I read? The last book I read was Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, which is non-fiction, although he fills in some of the gaps in the fiction, in the non-fiction parts um, with his best guess. So it's still non-fiction, but there's a little bit of fiction-esque in there I guess. And question number eight is what book am I currently reading and that is Unspeakable Things, Sex, Lies and Revolution by Laurie Penny and I actually talked a little bit about that in my February book haul video if you wanted to check out a bit more about that. Question nine, what do you use for bookmarks? I use actual bookmarks, I know that's a bit boring. Uh, I used to use the receipt that came with whatever book purchase I made, but now I buy a lot of books online so I don't really get so many receipts with that. Um, but a lot of book purchases that I make, especially through Book Depository, come with a bookmark. So I have a stack of bookmarks and that's what I really am using now. And question 10 is show us your TBR pile. Well you're looking at it, this bottom shelf here I just don't know if I'm still in frame or not, but this bottom shelf here is part of my TBR pile. I also have three shelves mirroring this over there, and the top two are also TBR. So I have quite a few TBR books to get through. <sighs> Question 11. Do you like hardbacks or paperbacks? I like them both, but I prefer paperbacks. Um, I find them easier to hold than the hardbacks. Obviously, they're a little bit lighter. Um, and when I do reading in bed, I'm not someone who reads in bed to go to sleep because I know it will wake me up. 
um, but not really completely so uh, there's always the possibility of a book falling on my face and paperbacks are a little bit more forgiving when that happens. Number 12. Do you like reading ebooks or physical books more? I personally prefer physical books. Ebooks, I think, are great. I think that they should definitely exist and it's wonderful that people enjoy them. But for me personally, reading, I enjoy reading, I enjoy the content, but I also enjoy the tactile and sensory pleasures from reading, of touching the book, of flipping through the pages, of smelling the book. I know it's weird smelling books, but that's what I enjoy. And it all adds up to sort of an emotion that comes with reading. And I don't get that so much with ebooks. So physical books absolutely win this one. Question 13. Do you prefer owning or borrowing books? I prefer owning books, but I also love going to the library. Just being surrounded by books is an amazing thing. And I've been going since I was a child. My mum used to take me all the time. So I do have a love of borrowing books as well. And it's a great thing to start out with a new author. If you don't know if you're going to enjoy their books or not, you can borrow the books from the library. And I've done that a lot and then if I find that I do really enjoy them, I'll purchase that and the rest of the series later on. So for me, purchasing is my preference, but I do love borrowing as well. I mean, who wouldn't love all those books? Question 14. What book series got you into reading? Well, this is going to go back a bit. Uh, I've been reading for as long as I can remember. And before that, my mom read to me. Uh, so books have been a big part of my life, all of my life. Um, so really the series that got me into reading was way, way, way back when I was in single digits and it was called The Far Away Tree Series by Enid Blyton. Uh, and I loved that series. I think there's only four books in there um, in the series, but it was about these children and this magical tree um, and going to different places. It was just fantastic fantasy series for kids. Um, and yeah, that was one that really stuck with me all through my childhood and way into adulthood and really got me into reading more. Um, I also loved, it was a standalone book, but it was called Hilda's Relaxing Chair by Irish, Iris Schweitzer. Um, and that was a brilliant book as well when I was a kid. Uh, and it was about this girl who worked on a farm and then needed to relax and all her animals came there and they all had watermelon. And that actually got me not just loving reading, but loving watermelon as well. And that sticks with me every time I eat watermelon today. And that's a great sign of a book that uh, makes you enjoy something in real life that was actually just shown in the book it's just it's a brilliant brilliant book i know i'm raving about children's books here to very adult watchers i'm assuming nobody under here is nobody here is going to be under five uh, but they were really really good books and that's what got me into reading as an adult as well as i did get older then i got more into um horror books back then because urban fantasy didn't exist as a genre um, and I used to read a series of books called Point Horror, which were all different books by different authors classed under the Point Horror series. Um, and then soon from that switched to reading Dean Koontz. He was really my first adult author that I read. And I loved all of his books and he got me very much into more into the fantasy and dark fantasy and horror genres that I love reading today. Question 15. How did you discover Booktube? Well, this was actually last year. I was just randomly searching YouTube and I discovered Peru's project, which is run by a girl called Reagan, and she talks about all things books. She's a brilliant booktuber. Uh, and that's how I discovered that there was actually a thing called a booktuber community on YouTube. And I just got really immersed in it. I watched so many of her videos and then so many of other people's videos. Uh, and that's how I got started in this community. And question 16 is, what challenges do you think you're going to face with your channel? I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, I'm very, very new to this. Uh, at first I thought that posting consistently was going to be one of my challenges, but I, I'm seeming to be keep on top of that so far. Um, it is a little bit of a challenge, but I'm, I'm really making myself work at it for recording and then editing the videos. Um, so I guess one of the challenges will be, because I'm such a new channel, reaching like-minded viewers like yourselves who love talking about and seeing about different books um, and to get really into the community as a whole. Another of the big challenges for me is video editing because I've never done that before. This is my first video editing experience, these, these videos. Uh, so I really need to learn more about that. I'm learning as I go. Um, and getting a better camera would be really good because at the moment I'm recording on my tablet um, and a lot of video editing software needs you to have a more consistent frame rate than my tablet records in. Um, so those are a little bit of challenges, but I'm sure I'll get over them eventually, hopefully. <laughs>
And finally, question 17, where else can you find me? Well, basically everywhere, I'm all over the place. I've been on the internet since I was 14, so that's, what, 20 years? Um, so you can find me on Goodreads, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, I have a blog, which I keep up to date with uh, book hauls, reviews, things that are going on in my life, uh, other things that I enjoy, I do some gaming on there, some fashion things, some baking, all sorts of different things, nerdy things, um, all sorts. Uh, I also have an author blog which is undergoing a bit of a revamp at the moment because I haven't used it enough. Uh, but that will also have my writing short stories and some of the bits about being a writer and becoming an author, which I'm hoping to be this year. Uh, so all sorts of places and I'll put links to my Facebook, Goodreads and all that stuff in, in the link below if you want to check all of that out. And it would be great to get to know more of you on more of these platforms so that I can expand my circle of book friends on the internet. So that was all of the questions for my booktube and newbie tag video. Uh, that was a mouthful. I hope you really enjoyed this. Uh, I hope that I made sense and didn't ramble on too much. I do tend to do that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more of my videos that are always coming up. Um, and I'll hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.